Okay, y'all. So, what I'm about to do is deep condition this hair. Um, it's it's already kind of wet just because um, I don't know what I was doing. But <laughs> I'm about to deep condition this hair. And this hair, I've had this hair for a long ass time, hence the closure. Um, the closure, um, I probably had the longest. This hair, I've had probably for like eight months the closure I've had forever but um I wear this in a side part I don't wear a middle part if I wanted to wear this in the middle part then I would pluck the um, middle a little bit more um I still probably I will go in and pluck the part um just so I have like an actual part but other than that stay tuned all right so real fast um the conditioner is on this hair um now so what i'm gonna do is just like a normal person put a bag and put it under the um blow dryer for like 10 to 15 minutes i'll tell you guys so this is the hair it's been sitting underneath the dryer for about 10 15 minutes now so what i'm gonna do is um just rinse off the product that's still on there and then i'm gonna apply like a mixture of um a few things like conditioner but i'll show you guys Okay, so real fast. So before I put the um like leave-in conditioner mix that I put in this hair I do comb through it after I rinse off the um treatment I comb through all of the hair so I mean this is curly hair and there's no like snags at all really so I do that for a reason because once you put on that leave-in conditioner it's kind of like trying to keep this um wave pattern and I mean curl pattern so so the first product I put in my leave-in conditioner is this this is the Shea, Shea Moisture um, Conditioner. I put that in my hair. Um, only about three pumps into this bottle that I'm, I'll show you guys at the end. Okay, this is the next product. Don't mind the bottle. Um, it's been through some things. But I also put this Shea Moisture product in um, the little concoction that I make. And I probably put like a quarter size. And then because I like the um like wet look, this I use this Shea Moisture, the Hold and Shine um uh, mist because um this gives it this keeps it like this how it is right now even when it's dry. So I use this. I don't know how much I put in the bottle. Though. I do put um just a couple um pumps of this into the mixture as well. Um I don't like to put a lot of this in there because it does weigh the hair down, but I do use this. So, and then I put everything into this little bottle and I do shake it. Um, and then I just spray it. I apply it to the hair. And I'll apply, I'll apply this right now and then I also apply it um, before I wear it and I'll comb it before I wear it as well. So I do normally let my wig air dry. If I have to go somewhere and it's wet, like my wig is wet, then I will use this. And what you do is you just turn it on and literally scrunch your hair. Um, and this won't um, cause your hair to get frizzy. Yeah, so this is what the wig looks like on. Um, honestly, if I was going out or, or whatever, I would do my edges. But I just wanted to show you guys what it does look like on. Um, I don't really want to keep it on, nor do I want to touch it much. Because once you touch curly hair, when it's wet, it starts getting frizzy. So, but yeah, so this is what it looks like. 